Missouri are getting insight into how babies' brains develop during pregnancy. For the first time, biologists say they are finding new ways mothers are connected to their babies in the womb. Our Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean has that story tonight from Jefferson City. And I got interested in this because my niece was exposed in utero to quaaludes. They were prescribed for my sister-in-law because she was depressed. And this was back in the 70s and 80s they were doing this. But after Dr. Rosenfeld's niece was born healthy, she developed serious health issues later in life with her brain, heart, and lungs. To me, it, these diseases stem from what she experienced in utero. That was the only thing I could surmise. And now we know that there is this concept, the idea of what we experience in utero can, for better or worse, affect our lifelong health. Rosenfeld has spent three decades studying an organ often overlooked, the placenta. It's what allows us to communicate with the mom. Like basically we get nutrients from our mom and we can expel waste through the placenta that then goes into her system. Through this research though, Rosenfeld said they've learned the placenta also produces neurotransmitters, chemicals that carry messages from one nerve cell to the next one. And you might know some of these called serotonin, dopamine, like serotonin is a happy neurotransmitter. And the placenta serves as an initial source of the neurotransmitters for fetal brain development. So it's really important. This connection could give doctors more insight into what affects a person's long-term health and could be used to identify and even treat certain neurological conditions during pregnancy, like autism spectrum disorder or schizophrenia, rather than waiting years for symptoms to develop. And then these kids that would have otherwise developed such neurologic disorders may never have to experience that in their lifetime. And to me, that's really amazing and incredible. In Columbia, Joe McLean, First Alert 4.